Alright y'all, so we are back with part two of my full wash day routine. If you didn't already see part one of this video, how we get our hair prepped and ready to be styled, head over and watch that first and then come back to this. But for those who are all caught up, we are ready to just jump right into styling and the style of the week is going to be a twist out. And I'm going to use the Neo Curly Lightweight Hair Milk and I'm following that up with the Camille Rose Almond Dry Twist and Butter. I really do love the Neo Curly Lightweight Hair Milk, y'all. Just want to say that if you don't already have this product or never tried it, get into it. As for the Camille Rose Almond Dry Twist and Butter, I am becoming a fan. I will say my first time using it. The issue was that I tried to use it by itself and I wouldn't recommend that. I, at least for me... I have to use it um, on top of something. I can't use it by itself. It's just not. <laughs> it's just not gonna give what it's supposed to give. So that was my trials and tribulations with that product. But now that I started using it over something, I am enjoying it way more. And the way that I like to distribute my products is one by one. So basically, right now I'm going in with the Neo Curly Hair Milk, and I'm going to put that throughout my entire head before I even go in with the almond jive twist and butter and actually two strand my two strand twist my hair up this is just how i prefer how to do things i feel like um some people like to just put everything in at once and and be done with the section i i just think i distribute the product better and i, I get through um, more of my tangles better that way because i am finger detangling as you can see i am i'm gonna use my diamond brush a little bit later on but i just like to i really like to take my time y'all i'm not gonna lie like wash day I like to do the most so that it lasts as long as it needs to last <laughs> and I don't have to worry about my hair um, for, for a little while. So I'll do the most on wash day and I will take my time and be really tedious about it just so that I can get the most out of that wash week or however long until I have to see or touch my hair again. And I put this clip back in real time just to show you guys what my hair is looking like with just the, the hair milk in it. Nothing else yet. Just that. And my hair is soft, y'all. The definition is coming through. And we love to see it, y'all. Like I said, if you've never tried this product, don't say I never try to put y'all on because this needs to be in your product stash, okay? Next up is the twist and butter and as you will see soon, I don't use too much of this product. A little bit does go a long way. It is a much thicker, heavier consistency, so not too much is really needed. And I'm going to also take my diamond brush now and just brush through my strands, get that definition on a hundred before we actually two strand twist up the section. Now that we're about to get into actually two strand twisting the hair soon, there's a few things that I do want to mention, some tips and tricks to help you guys improve your twist out so first things first these two sections that you see me twisting make sure that you're keeping them separate when you're twisting your hair you don't want to borrow hair from another section that's just going to lead to frizz it's going to make unraveling the hair so much harder so always pay attention to that second thing coiling always coil the ends of your hair you guys never twist all the way down stop a little bit early and coil the ends that is that is that is key that is necessary um third thing i do want to point out is making sure that your hair is very well detangled i am using a denim brush i know not everybody is a fan of hair tools if you're not um i would say maybe just using it on the end of your hair just so that you get that really bomb coily definition towards the end of your hair if you're not comfortable you don't really want to use a diamond brush on your entire throughout your entire strands and a quick thing that I do want to point out, because I'm sure I'll get questions about it if I don't mention this. The reason why I put a shower cap or why I had a shower cap just now on half of my head is because I do um, most of the time. Sometimes I just lazy or I forget. But I like to keep a shower cap on half of my hair or whatever hair that I'm not working on. I put a plastic cap on it just to keep help keep the moisture in while I'm working on the rest of my hair. And y'all, just to go through and reiterate these tips again that I want to emphasize... Make sure your hair is well detangled, coil those ends, don't twist all the way down to the end, and make sure that you are not borrowing hair from the other section when you're two strand twisting. Always keep those two sections you're twisting together separate. And do as many or as little twists as you 
would like you guys that is um all personal preference i did a good bit of twist on my head this time around i'm not gonna lie i didn't even expect to do as many as i did but i didn't count them so i don't really know how many is on my head but i did a good bit and i ended up leaving them in i want to say for like four or five days i believe four and this is me four to five days later with them dry as you can see they're all strung up they're dry um throughout the week i just kind of like wore them half up half down or in a ponytail nothing crazy and now i'm going in with my michi beauty hair and scalp oil to start separating these twists i'm just going to clip some out the way as always working in sections i can't tell y'all how many times i've done twist outs and come to the next wash day to find a twist out that was never a twist that was never um taken out in my head so i do recommend you work through your hair in sections when separating so that you get every twist and unraveling the twist out it's a pretty simple process like i said before if you're making sure that you're not borrowing hair when you're twisting and you're keeping those two sections separate it'll come apart really easy just uncoil the ends a bit and then just go ahead and pull those two sections apart Now, when it comes to separating the hair, like once you've unraveled all your twists and now you want to go in and separate and fluff your hair, uh, this is all again personal preference um, and how, based on how, you know, big or small you want your overall look to be. But the main thing that I want to say is that just always make sure you're not separating the hair where it doesn't want to be separated. And you'll be able to feel the hair when you're going through the individual sections where it wants to pull apart naturally and where it doesn't. This just again helps with frizz and lessening that. But this is what my hair looks like when half is all separated and half is not. So I'm just going to do the same thing that I did to the first side, to the other side, and come back when that's done. And this is what the look is giving you guys. This is day one. I am going to go in with my pick a little bit later on in a few clips, but I don't like to pick too much. I kind of prefer my hair to get bigger as the days go on on its own. And I was really, really happy with the results of this twist style, you guys. I love it more as the days go on. I do prefer a bit more volume, but this is fine for day one. And I was very much content with this for my day one hair. Um, I do think that it makes a huge difference that I leave the twist in for a few days before actually taking them out. And I, I love that routine. Like my routine as of late has been twisting my hair up and then leaving it in and then taking it out and rocking the twist out for a next few days and i love that because it allows my hair to kind of have a break i'm not touching it as touching or doing as much to it so it's been working for me and you guys ask me a lot of questions about how my twist outs last so long and my definition and everything and this is the key to that y'all So the last thing that I just wanted to go in and show you guys is my hair days later. Just because I do get questions about how I sleep with my hair, how I maintain it. And that's really it, y'all. Like my hair, I don't do anything special <laughs> really to my hair Um, in the night time. I just have it tied up in a scarf. This is me kind of demonstrating to you how I get it tied up. Um, And I put the bonnet over on top. And that's all there is to it. And when I'm ready to style my hair when it's the next day i just take some a little bit of oil this is what my hair looks like straight out the scarf take a little bit of oil shake and fluff it out and then we are done And this is what my hair was looking like on day five, y'all. So, yes, this was five days later. 
Um, the curls were still very much popping in my opinion. I don't know what this little curl on the side wanted to do. It wanted to show out and yeah, we just ignored that. But I was still very happy with my results. Um, I think I wore it for like a week out and then put it up in a puff and whatever I wanted to do. But like I said, results were still popping. Love this twist out routine. Um, it is my go-to twist out routine as of late. And that concludes this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Picked up a tip or two. If you have any questions, of course, leave it in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all, so you can be tuned in for the next one. And I will see you all then. Thank you guys so much for watching.